Continuing coverage here, a federal judge issued a temporary restraining order last night to stop the release of plans to make 3D printed guns, saying they may end up in the wrong hands. 3D printers can be found in Springdale schools and says they use these tools to help solve problems in the community. Fox 24's Lance Lloyd spoke to the school district about how they plan to keep prohibited items from being printed in classrooms. It's like a, something you would have seen in the movies. The idea of printing anything from plastics can spark creativity, especially from a young mind. They are for kids that really love technology and love community problem solving. Springdale schools harness these printers for the purpose of education and improving the lives of others. Last year we had a uh, uh, project from our Don Tyson School of Innovation where they made a prosthetic for a young girl at uh, Shaw Elementary who was born without one of her hands so that she could ride a bicycle. But with the capability of printing weapons, local law enforcement says they're aware of the dangers. Anything that's untraceable and can be used as a weapon is, is definitely a concern for law enforcement. Though school districts like Springdale have concerns about safety, it's confident the printing of 3D guns won't happen on his watch. From a school safety standpoint, I don't think that's anything we would need to be concerned about it in our schools. Obviously, if anybody at home can do it, uh, you know, that's up to them. And police say they'll be ready for any new threats to the public and schools. Law enforcement will evolve to, to meet any threat that, that we have to, but let, we just hope that we don't have to. And those using the printers in schools hope to continue teaching through technology while staying away from dangerous avenues. So today, yes, we're ahead of the curve, but uh, five years from now, we don't know where the curve will be.